Okay, hi guys, welcome back. So, we proceed with our chapter 3, gas absorption. So, we will see what we have already covered. So, we already go for the definitions, applications and notation use in gas absorption. So, now we will continue with the 3.2 and 3.3, which is we will explain the gas liquid equilibrium and then some descriptions on your equipment and how the operation of gas absorption so let us see mm. okay so this is your 3.2 gas liquid equilibrium for ideal solution as you can remember uh, before this we already learned about the Roch's law where our partial pressures of a is equal to the more fractions of A in a liquid times to the vapor pressures of pure A. So in any mixtures of gas, the solubility of each gas are depends on its partial pressure. Okay, so uh, this is the basic equations on how our uh, gas, uh, uh, our solution is related to Roch's law. So we will continue with 3.3 to film theory of gases liquid system. You need to remember that now our systems have two phases, which is phases of gas and phases of liquid. If you can see from this diagram, it explains you the two film theory of gas liquid system. So we started from the distance here. So this is the distance from the interface. Interface is the phase bit, uh, which is uh, between your liquid phase and also your gases phase. Okay, so liquid phase and the gases uh, phase. Okay, so your liquid phase uh, here at the left side and your uh, gases is at the right side. So, gas phase mixtures of A in a gas. So, the notation for Y and X is actually the composition. So, you can see here, for the gas, we use Y and for your liquid, we use X. So, your A is your solute. If you can remember that we, inter we talk about the A in a gas mixture, which is your carrier gas, uh, B. So your liquid uh, is your solvent. So your A in your liquid. So the concentration. So if the high concentrations of A is coming from the gas mixture of AB. So you can see that the concentration here, the YAG is much more higher as compared to YAI, XAI and XAL. So G is represent your gas and I is interface and L is your liquid. So you can see that the concentration is decreasing from your uh, YAG to your XAL. As a logic, your A is much more higher in a gas. So after some time, your A started to, uh, to enter your liquid system. So before they go for your liquid system, they will meet at the interface. Okay. So assuming a solute A is diffusing from the bulk phase G to the liquid phase L. So it must pass through gas phase D. Okay. So it go from the phase D to the interface and then to your liquid. So the concentration gradient must exist to cause this mass transfer to the resistance and of course because of the concentration gradient your A is moved from the high concentrations of A in a gas to the low concentrations of A in the liquid. So the concentration in the bulk gas phase YAG is decreased to YAI at the interface liquid concentration and then to XAI and falls to XAL. Okay, so from the theory, so we can plot a graph of your uh, for two film theory of gas liquid system. So uh, you do not uh, worry because we don't plot this graph. So uh, this graph actually is 
you need to um, to come up with all this concentration and you need to plot on the graph for this two film theory and then you need to find the uh, point of M and the point of P and then what we get from here is actually your slope so your slope we can get your um, your uh, rate, uh, rate of uh, rate of concentration here okay the gas phase mass transfer coefficients so you can see here um, for your uh, for each of our equimolar and our um, standard we can we come up with this uh, we have this equation so so this equation actually you want to solve uh, how you can find the flux of your na okay so actually you get your mass transfer uh, coefficient from this graph so you need to plot this graph first okay so uh, another way uh, how they can get the ky kx prime to ky prime it is through the difference of yad to xai uh, yai and then sal to sai so this is how they get the mass transfer coefficient so same goes to the diffusion of a through the statement this is how they find the uh, value so it much uh, more complicated because we know that the equation for the statement is much more complicated but the purpose is still the same where we want to find the you know, we we need to find all this concentration and plotting in the graph and then you get the slope and then this is how you get your mass transfer coefficient to solve the problem in your flux so we don't need to calculate this this is just for your information okay so from your uh, previous study on the molar flux so easily um and it required the knowledge of the interface uh, concentration so since experimental sampling of the concentration at the interface is very difficult or visually impossible so usually we use the overall mass transfer coefficient it is very difficult for them to um, generate the concentration at the interface so it uh, is much more easier to use the overall mass transfer coefficient which is capital letter as compared to you use the uh, mass transfer coefficient case small k so from here so the equation the uh, your your equation will be extended from the y a g minus y uh, from previously we use y e i something like that so there is another way uh, where you use yai minus ya uh, star and sai minus sal so they solve the equation from using this final equation so you do not know uh, so you do not worry about this equation because we don't use it so th this is just for your knowledge but later in your degree you will do this calculation you need to find your mass transfer coefficient to solve the problem related to your flux okay so this is the equation for diffusion of a through stagnant diffusion b okay so we go to the mass transfer mechanism in gas absorption as you know that our gas absorption involves of two phases of gas and also a liquids so this is how we represent the process so this is the concentration as you can see from uh, previous uh, drawing so you go from the gas phase to the interface of to the liquid phase okay okay now we go for 3.3 which is the equipment and description for gas absorption so there are a lots of equipment being used to uh, to solve problem uh, for the gas absorption process so we have here three tower or we call it as the plate tower so there will be feeds of liquid and gas and then they will be gas out and the liquid out 
Okay, and then we also have the packing tower, packing column, where there will be packing inside of your tower. So here we have the packing and then the liquid in and gas in and also gas out and then also the liquid out. Other than that, we also have the spray tower. So you can see here the liquid come uh, as a liquid droplet and your gas will come out, uh, come in from the bottoms and will go out from the top and your liquid will go out from the uh, bottom. This is another way where the bubble column, your liquid will be filled in the column and your gas will come from the bottom and go out from the top. And then the, we also have the centrifugal contractor where you need some cent, uh, some blades here to uh, mix all your liquids mixture and there will be a gas come in and then gas come out from the uh, top. Okay, so now you will see the how the descriptions of your pack tower and the fluid arrangement. So you can see here your column is being filled with the packing yeah, packing materials and then your liquid will come from the top of your column okay so the liquid come from the top and your gas will, uh, your liquid from the top and it will uh, come um, down to your uh, counter and go out from the bottom and your gas will come in into your column and we go out uh, from the top okay so we have uh, here for an example of the packing is random uh, packing okay so there will be liquid distributor here and also the uh, liquid uh, distributor top and the bottom here uh, top and the in the middle Okay, the process for the separation is actually a counter current uh, flows. That means your gas come from the bottom and your liquid come from the top. So it meet counter currently. Okay, the contacts of liquid and gas occurs in your packing. So you have packing material here. So this is how they contact each other so that's how your A from your gas mixture will go to your liquid okay and your liquid flows over the surface of the packing with a general downward direction as I told earlier your liquid downward and for your gas it is the upward direction so it will go through the interstices and voids of packing the designs of the packing must have some void so that the gas will flow uh, through the uh, void in the packing so it's sweet for the application where high gas removal efficiency is required for example the control of SO2 and SO2 using HC, uh, in S and HCl in sulfuric acid and hydrochloric, hydrochloric acid production so the packing type used is random and structure so here when you have the theory question for the pack tower you need to give all the information of how the operations in the gas absorption occur so you must say that the liquid come from the top your gas from the bottom and then meet in the middle with the packing and then they go out so after some time so we want the efficiency of gas of a high is in your liquid so it will be your extract in the liquid and your gases as your refinate. Okay, that's all for today. And we will uh, meet again for the next session. Thank you.